Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Sea Smoke. Um, we're going to make lunch right now, and I'm going to make an easy one that is nice for a nice winter day to have, or you can just have it as a snack if you want. It's a simple one. We're going to make some grilled cheese, but we're going to make mini grilled cheeses today. As always, pick your favorite kind of cheese. And right here I have Hawaiian rolls that I have cut in half that we're going to use. I'm not the world's best cutter, so that's not very even, but it's okay. They're still edible. So definitely pick whatever kind of cheese you want to use to make your grilled cheese with. So I have, as y'all know, or if you've seen yet, I've made a cream cheese spread yesterday. So I'm going to use some of that on one that I have in here with some pepperoncinis to make it a little spicy so I'm going to use it so it'll be tangy and creamy and spicy and cheesy I'm just going to try that one I'm going to try that one too whenever we start making the cheese alright so let's put that one let's put that over here let's put that over there I don't have cold but I call it the cream cheese in one spot okay it has a Colby and cheddar here, which was just some leftover cheese snack sticks. Well, not sticks. I guess they were like little rectangles I had. Um, here, I have some pepper jack cheese because that's one of my favorites. I'm going to use. I'm gonna put that there. And be sure to get your papers out from in between because you don't want to eat a grilled cheese paper because that'd be nasty and it just wouldn't be very flavorful having wax paper as a snack all right and i have some regular mild cheddar here too from out of the fridge so one of these i'm just going to put two cheeses on and then the other one i'm going to have more cheese on because why not we like to make it cheesy. But definitely do any kind of cheese that you like. Okay, and I'm going to cover these. And I'm going to go ahead and butter the tops of these. For when they're going to go on my skillet. And I'm going to leave them whole, but then I'm going to cut these in half some more after we toast them up and get them ready to go. So they'll be like mini bite-sized ones. And I'm going to wait until I put my uh, buns on the pan before I butter the other side. Because if not, you're just holding a buttery mess in it. So let's move this over here. Alright, got the over there. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put my grilled cheese, which I just dropped some cheese on there. That back there. Alright, so I'm going to put my butter side down on here on my heated flat top skillet. And I still have my butter. Now I'm going to do the bottom of my bread. That way, hey, I'm not getting it all over my hands. And we're just going to toast these on our little flat top skillet. Just like I do any other grilled cheese. If you want, you can do these in a pan too. I just figured it might be a little easier to doing on this because I could do more all at one time. Oh. Okay, now our mini grilled cheeses are all done. They're all nice and toasted and our cheese is all melted. 
And I have a nice cup of tomato soup here. So now, whoop, gooey cheese. And we're going to dump. Mm. And try. Okay. And there's your quick, simple, easy lunch. Mini grilled cheese and tomato soup. Okay. Hope this was easy and you enjoy the video. Y'all enjoy cooking.